So welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number six from the January 2018 International A-Level Statistics S1 paper from Edexcel. This question here is about discrete random variables. It says, Andrew has a bag that contains five socks of which two are blue. Andrew randomly selects socks from the bag one sock at a time. She does not replace any socks but continues to select the socks at random until she has both blue socks. So she carries on picking until she's got the second blue sock and then she stops, it seems. The discrete random variable S represents the total number of socks that she has selected from the bag. So write down the value of the probability that S equals 1. Well, if she carries on picking until she's got two blue socks, then the, the lowest value S can be is 2. Blue and then blue again. So S equals 1 is not a possibility here. So that must, of course, be 0. There's a 0 probability of S equals 1 because she carries on picking until she's got a blue sock. So the minimum value for S has to be 2 if she picked a blue and then another blue. Okay, so there's, uh, that's why it's only worth one mark and it says write down. There's no calculation involved. Okay, now we're going to part B. I'll make space as that was so short and easy, that question. Part B says, find the probability that S is greater than 2. Okay, now, let's work out first what the different values that S can be. Now, we can have S being, as we just mentioned, 2. We're going to have 2 picks, or 3 picks, or 4 picks, or 5 picks. Okay, there could be five picks altogether. Those are the different values of S. Okay, so you can either have two, three, four, or five. Okay, those are the different values that S can be. Okay, so we'll just... Um, so you got S can either be two, three, four, or five. And the probability that S equals S... Okay, now we've got to find the probability of these three. Okay, these three. Now, we know that the total sum of the probabilities is 1. So I know that the probability that S is greater than 2 is going to be 1 minus the probability that S is equal to 2. Okay, if I take away this from the rest of them, from, from 1, I'll get the probability of the rest of them. So we need to find what the probability that S is equal to 2 is. Well, that's if she picks a blue sock and then a blue sock. She has to stop on the second pick. There's only one way of doing that. That's probability of blue and then a blue which is going to be, well, there are five socks altogether. So you have um, one, two, two blue socks, and the rest are some other colors. We don't know what they are. I'll just draw just a random color. One, two, three. So that's five socks altogether. So if she's picking um, the first two as blue, then you're going to have two out of five for the first. And then there's one, she's not replacing them. Okay, she did not replace them, so there's only one blue sock left now out of four, and that would be one quarter for the second pick to get a blue. So that's going to be two cancels with the four give you two. That's one over ten. Okay, so the probability of this is one over ten. Therefore, the rest of them must be nine over ten. So therefore, the probability that S is greater than two is equal to one minus one over ten, which is nine over ten. That's the answer for part B. Then it says, part C, find the probability that S equals 3. Okay, find the probability that S equals 3. So let's just take these down here. All right. <clears throat> so now, that means she stops on the third pick. On the third pick, she gets a blue. So that means that, let's say she got a blue on the first pick. Okay. Um, well, that means if she's going to stop on the third pick, that second one can't be a blue. Otherwise, you stop on the second pick. And the third pick must be a blue. That's one po possible way of stopping on the third pick. The other way is if she didn't pick a blue first, and then she picked a blue second, and then she picked a blue in the third pick. Those are the only ways of stopping on the third pick, because she has to have a blue on the third pick to stop there. So those are the only two ways um, of this happening. Okay, so this, for the first one here, you got blue. Well, that's two out of five times for the second pick not blue well that's three out of well, there's only four left because you're taking one out you took them one out oops let's take them together you take them one out so there's three left or uh, there's um, three non-blues left out of four and then 
for the third pick has to be a blue well you've taken one of these out one of those out there's only one blue left out of three okay and for not blue well not blue altogether not blue in, in this there's going to be um, three of them that are not blue out of five and then the se second one must be blue so there's two blues out of four now and the last one there's one blue left out of three now now what you'll notice is that this is two times three times one this is three times two times one they give you the same numbers five times four times three of course gives you the same as that so we just need to take one of those so let's take two fifths times three quarters times one third and just multiply it by two and that will give us the sum of those two because they're the same so we can say the probability that s equals three is going to be given by now here you're going to have the um, three cancels with the three the two cancels with the four leaving with the two the two cancels with the two up there you're left with one over five one fifth so there's the answer to part c of this question now we're going to move on to part d now part D says, given that the second sock selected is blue, find the probability that Andrew selects exactly three socks. So this is one of those conditional probability questions. So given that the second um, sock is blue, find the probability that Andrew selects exactly three socks. So it's the probability that she selects three socks, that S equals three, given that the second sock is blue. That's what we have to find. Okay, now if you remember, this is basically equal to the intersection of these two statements. So it's the intersection of S equals 3 with the second one being blue divided by the probability that the second is blue. Okay, so we need to find that fraction and that will give us an answer. So we need to find the probability that that she's picked three socks and the second is blue. All right. So that means um, let's work what that is first. X equals three intersection. The second is blue. OK, so what that means is that the second has to be blue. That means um, if she's picked three socks, the first can't be blue. The second has to be blue and the third must be blue. And that's all we can have here because if she's picking three socks and the second is blue, well, the third has to be blue if she's picking three socks. has to be blue because she stopped at the third pick. So that means the second has to be blue. That means this is, only, this is the only way that can happen. The first can't be blue. The second has to be blue. And the third has to be blue for her to have three picks. Otherwise, it will be three picks. So we've got to find the probability of this, which is the probability of not blue. Now, remember, there's three that are not blue out of five the second pick well there's two that are blue now out of four and the third big click sorry there's one left that's blue out of three so that's going to give you if you cancel that with that and that with that that's going to give you one over ten that's one tenths okay and then we've got to find the probability that the second sock is blue okay so the probability that the second sock is blue now the only way of getting that probability is basically is either the first sock is blue and the second sock is also blue okay um and the other probability is the first sock isn't blue and the second sock is blue okay those are the only two ways of having the second sock being blue here there's no other condition involved all right so the second sock is blue Okay, is either the first is blue, the second one, the first is blue, the second one is blue, or the first isn't blue, and the second is blue. Okay, that's what we have to worry about here. Um, so let's have a look at this. If this, for the probability for the second sock to be blue, um, is going to be given by, and now this is going to be um, 2 out of 5 times 1 out of 4 plus not blue 3 out of 5 times 2 out of 4 if the first is not blue the second one will be 2 over 4 if the first is blue the second one will be 1 over 4 so this gives you 2 fifths times 1 quarter let's cancel this with this so that's that's going to be 1 over 10 plus and this um, cancels with this 3 over 10 which is 
4 over 10. Okay, so what we need to find is what's given there. Let me just make some more space. We need to find this fraction here. So the probability that S equals 3 given that the second sock is blue is going to be 1 over 10 divided by 4 over 10. Which is, if you remember, you change, um, you're going to have 1 over 10 times 10 over 4. You change that to a multiplication and you flip the second fraction, the tens cancel out, you're left with one quarter. So the answer is equal to 1 over 4 for this question, part D. Okay, so here we had to find the probability that the that there's, given that um, the second sock is blue, find the probability that... Um, she's taken exactly three picks. So we found um, the probability of the only way of having three picks and the second sock being blue is one over 10. We got to divide that by the second sock being blue. That's our sample space. The sample space is the second sock being blue. Okay, which is basically um, either the first sock is blue or the second sock is blue or the first sock isn't blue and the second sock, sock is blue. Those are the two ways of getting, having the second sock being blue. Okay, um, and there we have the answer to that question. Um, yeah, okay. So now we're going to, and when you divide them, you get the answer. And it says, find the probability that S is equal to 5. Right, the probability that S is equal to 5. So that means she's taken all 5 picks. Okay, so let's have a look. That means the last one has to be a blue because she stops when the second sock is blue. So let's look at all the different ways of getting that. So either the first one is blue, and the rest of the picks aren't blue until the last pick. So there's five picks altogether. That's one possible answer. Or the first isn't blue, the second is blue, and the other two are not blue. Or we just move that B, that, that B along, like there. All right, so that the first two are blue, then you got uh, are not blue, then blue, then not blue, and then blue again at the end. Or you have the last two of them are blue and the ones before that were not blue. That's how you can get this possible outcome because um, you see that the, the last one has to be a blue because she stops when she picks a blue. Um, and if, if she's taken five picks, that means the last pick must be a blue. And that means one of the ones before that must have been a blue and those are all the possible positions it could have been. Um, so let's see what that gives us. Let's look at one of them and then we'll see that hopefully, we'll, I think we'll have four, which will be all the same fractions. Let's look at the first one. The first one is blue. Remember, there's two blues out of five. The second one isn't blue. Well, there's three blue, three non-blues out of four now. And then the third, the third one is not blue. There's two non-blues out of three. And then you got the fourth one is not blue. So there's one out of two. And then you've only got one left out of one, so that's going to be one there. All right. Now, I think all of them will give us that same fraction. Let's choose one of these. Let's choose, just choose this third one to see. You're going to have not blue, which is three out of five, and then not blue, which is two out of five, and then blue, which is two out of four, then not blue, which is one out of three. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's supposed to be here, four. Let's just do that part again, sorry. To be careful here. So, um, not blue is three out of five. Not blue again is two out of four, and then blue is two out of three, and then not blue. Well, there's one not blue left out of two, and now there's one blue left. So you can see we get the same numbers: two times three times two times one, three times two times two times one. There's two twos and there's two twos and three and there's two. So they're the same numbers. So basically, all I need to do is just take one of those and multiply it by. There's going to be four. One, two, three, four. So you'll have four times one of these. So let's just take that first one. Two fifths times three quarters times two thirds times one half times one. Okay, so that four will cancel with that four because it's like a fraction there. And the um, two will cancel with the two, the three with the three. Okay, so we're left with two over five. I haven't left anything out, have I? Two over five. So there's the answer. The probability that S equals 5 is equal to 2 fifths. Okay, so there we have the answer to part E. And that concludes this question. 
Question number six from the January 2018 International A-Levels S1 paper. Other questions from this particular paper will be found in the play playlist for that, which should be over here in this area at the end of the video. And um, you'll find other questions to do with discrete random variables from S1 should be in this playlist that should appear in this area. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.